Welcome to the Doing It Ace channel. In the last lesson, we faced the problem of when we go to localhost 3000, we get two or three errors. The first error says the client side rendering virtual rendered virtual DOM tree is not matching server rendered content. That means whatever we have in the client is not matching what we had in the server. Let's figure that out later. Next, we get a post localhost 4000 error. That is because we are not sending an ID to our character component and it fails. And lastly, also the same issue, we are not passing an ID to the character component because it has to have an ID in the route. We don't and it fails. So what we can do is we can first in our indexed view component or the main component, we can see once we get the characters, we can use the characters first element and use the ID of that. So actually we don't want this bit here now. Now we have to modify this query a little. We have to use a object like this and do query and then use the GQL tag because we want another option here. We have something called result, which is a function that gets called once the characters have been fetched, once the query is done. So in here, we get the data, we get a loading and we get a network status. Uh, and then from here, once we have the data, we can do a redirect. So we'll do router dot push and do data characters get the first element and then the id okay so let's check it out we'll do a refresh yeah that fixes that now the problem is it still says the client side rendered virtual dom tree is not matching the server rendered content content that is because we are doing a navigation from the client here so this doesn't, the server does not know whether this happened. That is a problem. We want the server, in the server, we want to fetch the data or the characters and then do a redirect to get the ID, with the ID. To do this, uh, it's not difficult. We can use the async, uh, async data lifecycle hook we have. Uh, Note that we cannot, uh, we have to wait until the client and do a client navigation is because we don't have the context uh, in here, available here. If we had the context, then we can use the redirect function that we did on the fetch method. But here we do get the context. So let's do this. Let's in the async data, which is a lifecycle hook that is called in the server. So we'll get we'll fetch the queries in the async data and then do a redirect. Why? Because we can do a redirect in the server because we have the access to context here. So we'll do const result, we'll get, we can use async await. So let's do async here and do await app. So let's do destruction here and get the app and the redirect from context to app Apple provider default client and query. So here we can have our query. Let's copy this and put it here. Okay, we don't want this anymore. Right, so once we get the results, we can simply do redirect uh, result data dot characters, the first element and the ID. Note now all of this happens in the server. Okay, so now let's refresh and see. Oops, we have to put a slash at the front. 
for that and let's go to localhost 3000 again there we are right okay the character it says the character is not defined uh, that is because we can return the data return result dot data okay now actually we don't want the whole data thing because not uh, next or view upload will do the rest of it why are we getting a squiggly oh we have to close this there you are and then return result dot data so when return when we are returning result the data it's going to be registered as characters in the component so let's try it again there we are beautiful it works fine and everything is server rendered that is what we want cool i think uh, that covers this lesson i hope you learned something please do subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you liked it have a good day take care bye